Hi, I'm Andy, and I'm going to answer the question tonight, are men talking too much at Chai Hack Night? If you can't wait two whole minutes, the answer is kind of, yes, sort of, maybe. Depends on how you slice it. So I became curious about this question a couple of months ago when I heard about this site that had been developed by one of our own, Kathy Deng, uh, armentalkingtoomuch.com. All it is is a tool to record is a dude talking or not a dude talking. And you can use this at a meeting or an event to see kind of who's dominating the conversation. And it's not the final answer as far as inclusion goes. Um, it goes a step beyond attendance. Um, and we might as well be asking, like, are men coding too much at Chai Hacknet? Are men eating too many empanadas? But <laughs> this is something that we can relatively easily uh, quantify and see what's going on. So you might have noticed me sitting in the back, gendering people. And I record the number of men or non-men by appearance uh, among the attendees, presenters, and facilitators. And I use the site to record uh, the amount of time that each group of people is speaking during the announcements, during the Q&A after the talks, and during the breakout announcements. Now, some of the results that I've gotten from this that I can fit into 20 seconds over the course of nine Chi Hack Nights. Tonight, we'll make it 10 double digits, actual big data. <laughs> the, so of the 700 or so people that I've kept track of, three quarters have been men, 76%. Just over half the presenters have been men as well, unless you count tonight, in which case it's a lot more than that. Um, I've looked at over 10,000 seconds of data. That's five digits, extremely big data. <laughs> and of those, the announcement time is very proportional. Three quarters of the time is taken by men speaking. Questions, it's quite a bit less. Uh, men only spend like two thirds of the time speaking. During breakout announcements is where men tend to dominate a little bit more. 85% uh, of the time is men speaking. That's only like 60% of the time proportionally that um, non-men would be speaking uh, if they spoke as much as they attended. So all of this, by the way, is in a spreadsheet that I keep updating throughout these presentations. Uh, there's a link. That thing is a link, and there's a link in the agenda as well. And what do we do with this information is the question that, that comes next. And I think it really informs a couple of the goals that were set forth during the community feedback session that we had last month. Those being uh, getting outside our own civic tech bubble a little bit as far as representation and creating a more diverse shy hack night. And again, this isn't the only measure of inclusion, speaking time, and gender is not the only form of representation we have to look at. But this is a, an important part of the introspection that we all have to do.